the ability to read a tape measure could make the difference between being a low paid laborer and being a high paid carpenter. So I'm going to show you an easy way to just simply um, know how to read the ruler and its fractional inch marks. Looking at all these marks could seem really intimidating. There are so many of them and they aren't even labeled. So how could anyone keep track of what they're even looking at? Well, I'm going to try to give you the secret. The secret is not going to turn you into a fraction genius with math or anything. It's simply going to make you confident knowing which mark is which in this mess of marks. So to start out, we have all the unlabeled marks between the inches. I have one simple question for you. Which one marks the halfway point? Well, it's the big one right in the middle, right? Yes, it is. Let's just go ahead and label it one half. You write one half by writing one over two. Okay, we know where one half is. It's right here, one over two. What do you think would happen if we cut that in half also? Well, just focusing on this region, again, we have a long line right in the middle. This is one fourth, or one over four. So let's label it. All right, let's do it again. You cut the new region in half, there is a line in the middle, and that is 1 over 8, or 1 eighth. You should probably stop and notice what is happening here. 1 half led to 1 fourth, which led to 1 eighth. Each of these bottom numbers is double the previous one. The bottom number went from 2 to 4 to 8 in the fraction. So what do you think is next if we cut that region in half? Well, if you double 8, you get 16. So yes, the line in the middle is 1 16th. Okay, I hope you're feeling pretty confident being able to identify 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, and 1 16th. That's awesome. That is half the battle. Now, if you can also count by only odd numbers, then you can identify every mark there is in this whole mess. When I say count by odd numbers, I mean simply saying 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. Wait, actually, you don't even have to go that far for this lesson. 15 is all you need. Remember how these lines became smaller as you went from 1 half to 1 fourth to 1 eighth and so on? Well, every line the same length as the one you're on is the same type of line. And all you need to do is count by odd numbers to name each of them. So this is 1 eighth, that makes this 3 eighths, this is 5 eighths, and this is 7 eighths. 1, 3, 5, 7. You do the exact same thing when you're looking for a 16th. Find 1 16th and count the odd numbers on those lines to get there. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Obviously, the same thing works for the fourths, but there are only two of them, one and three. Let's name all the fractions here. The big one in the middle is one half. That makes this one one fourth, and this one three fourths. Half of one fourth is one eighth, so this is three eighths, this is five eighths, and this is seven eighths. Half of one eighth is one sixteenth. So this is 3 sixteenths, this is 5 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths, 9 sixteenths, 11 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths, and 15 sixteenths. 